Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of that automatic snapping or snap to feature in Figma. If you've ever tried to move or position something just right, only to have it keep jumping back to a guide or another element, you know how frustrating that can be. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to take back precision control over your objects. No more fighting with Figma's auto snap. Let's dive right in. Now, first off, you might be using Figma's auto layout for your designs, but sometimes you really just want to nudge or drag a layer or element in exactly the spot you want, without it magnetically snapping to invisible guides or to other elements around it. For a lot of us, this can slow down workflow, especially when you're trying to fine-tune a design detail, line something up by eye, or break free from the super strict grid for a creative touch. A lot of users remember that previously, all you had to do was hold down the spacebar while dragging an object, and this would block the snapping behavior completely. Simple and effective. But in the most recent version of Figma, that shortcut has changed. Now when you press and hold the spacebar and try to move something, you'll notice it does something totally different. It actually lets you drag the entire canvas or move your view, not your object. So if you've been scratching your head, wondering why your objects still snap even with the spacebar held down, you're definitely not alone. This has tripped up a lot of designers lately. But don't worry, there's still a way to bypass snapping and take full control of your elements. Here, the trick, instead of reaching for the spacebar, simply hold down the control key while you click and drag your object. That's right, just tap and hold control or command if you're on a Mac and then start dragging your layer or object. You'll notice right away all those snap lines and magnetic guides just vanish, allowing you to move your object freely exactly where you want it. It's like turning off gravity for your design, no more jumpy movements or objects sticking where you don't want them. If you're working on fine details, maybe trying to perfectly align some icons by eye or just experimenting with an unconventional layout, this method gives you total flexibility. And if things feel a bit slippery at first or your object isn't landing quite where you'd expect, just take a breath and try moving it slowly. Sometimes letting go of the urge to line everything up with the guides can actually unlock more creativity in your design, too. Just to recap, if auto snap keeps getting in your way in Figma, remember, hold the control key down, then drag your element. Forget the old spacebar shortcut and enjoy the freedom to position things exactly where you want. No more fighting with auto snap. All right, that wraps up this quick tip. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions about Figma tools or want to see more tutorials like this, drop your thoughts or requests down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more tips to level up your design game. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.